Hey guys and welcome back to yet again another season 10 gameplay guide guys we are covering Jack's top lane today really OP champion good for solo queue you guys know all about it covering champions that are really broken anyways you can find the four wins for build you can find all of that in the description below guys so definitely make sure to check that out and with that being said let's cover Jax today so this is actually a really interesting matchup for Jax because uh, the early game, we're going to win really hard. Kind of depends, though, on uh, the amount of times that we will be dodging the uh, Qs and stuff. But this is actually like a winning matchup for Jax if played properly. Now, let me actually show you guys the way how it works. And I'll also pop my potion right here. There we go. All right, so I'm actually going to uh, get my W right here. We want to fight him level 2 right now. Level 1 and 2 because we're uh, like 10 times stronger than he is at the moment. Just gonna pop that, pop the ignite, go fuel in. He didn't respect my level 1 and 2, so he dies for it. You gotta know like your power spike of Jax. A lot of people don't know their power spike of Jax and like there are certain matchups that you have to play defensively. And then there's like another matchup where you have to play aggressively. Um, but for matchups like this one, at least 80% of Jax matchups. Uh, Jax is always stronger than anyone at level 1 if played properly. Um, let me actually go back over here. I'm just going to let him push it in. He's pretty slow at pushing in early game, so... I can just go back right now. Should be able to. There we go. Get like a war 2. And we go back. So, the main way how you want to play Jax uh, throughout the early game, this stands out for all matchups out there. Uh, level 1, in 99% of all the matchups, you want to be starting off level 1 with your E. And if somebody is willing to go for a CS and you see like an all-in opportunity, you should probably take that and use your E because uh, E is like one of the best skills in the entire game, in the early game. It can change the level one dramatically right here i'm not going to walk up to him because ilawi's skill shot that his e is up we don't want to be fighting ilawi when that skill shot his e is up because as soon as he hits that one we're going to lose like at least a massive corner for our health bar oh creep block okay there we go so in this matchup as long as we don't get hit by the skill shot we can technically trade him anytime we want on the pump potion here. Dodge that one. I'm going to reset the lane and then we start fighting uh, Ilawe again. He wants to hit the skill shot with me, but obviously I'm not going to allow him to do that. Yeah, we got him. Dodge that one. Dodge that one too. There we go. And now we go back again. Like, this is the kind of playstyle you want to have on Jax in a matchup like this one. You want to play as aggressive as you can around your E, because that's like your winning condition. That's uh, the good thing about Jax. E is like the best thing ever, if it's up. We can actually catch this guy. Yep, got him. I really like this fiddle. He's actually giving the kills to us. Really good guy. Now... The most interesting thing about Jax is going to begin soon because after level 6, um, you unlock your ultimate. The more items you're going to get on Jax, the stronger you're going to become. Like Jax is an extremely strong mid-late game champion that can split push very well. So early game is not even the best thing about Jax. Dr. Skill Shot, unfortunately wasn't able to. Uh, one auto attack. There we go. And we're gonna push it in right now. Great. I even had like one potion left. I forgot I had like this potion left. Nice. I can push the next wave too. Without like a problem. It needs to reset into the tower. Don't ever leave your lane if it's not being reset. Only if you truly don't have a choice. Because... If you don't reset the lane and it's get pushed in into the enemy uh, um, side, you're going to lose a thousands of creeps. Seriously. So we go back here. The first item you want to buy is going to be uh, the Tiamat. 
and that item gives an insanely big power spike to Jax. We buy that, we are going to buy uh, the Sheen immediately after that. You gotta note that like this, the Tiamat is the strongest power spike in the early game of Jax. The sooner you get this item, the stronger you are. Not only in terms of 1v1s, but in terms of shoving in the lane, pushing in the lane, and then roaming down different lanes, roaming down to the jungler, helping them instead. These are all things that Tiamat does. It's an extremely, extremely, extremely OP item, especially on Jax, guys. Oh, let me just run out of here. I'm just explaining stuff. And then the second thing you're going to know is the Sheen item. That's the second power spike of Jax. If you get this combination, the lane is over for most matchups. This is like the perfect combination. I can't really fight him because he's going to pop down the ultimate on me, even if my Fiddle comes here. Just want to reset. There we go. And now we. Oh, yeah, he's already getting erect. Perfect. He's getting wrecked by the Fiddle Sticks. This lane is pretty much a win for me. Now, as for the final thing, guys, um, one thing you have to know about Jax after reaching level 6, this is where everything of the matchup changes, guys. Um, in the pre-stakes of the game, you mainly want to play around your passive. The more stacks you have, the better your 1v1 is going to be. Now, the one thing you gotta know, every single time you're going to trade somebody after level 6, you always want to put two auto attacks in the creeps and then engage with your passive. You need to value this a lot because that's going to be a lot of damage that you're going to miss out from if you don't trade with your passive, guys. It's extremely important. You have to play around it. So the first item we're going to buy is going to be the Trinity Force. Let me just sell that one. Great. So the first item you're going to buy is going to be the Trinity Force. And after buying the Trinity Force, your next item is going to be a Titanic Hydra. This is the core build of Jax. Titanic Hydra and Trinity Force. After getting these items, you want to get Sterex Gauge and stuff like that. You can find it all in the description below, guys. Don't forget that. Okay. Now we can start playing really aggressive. We just got to avoid the skill shot of Ilawi. Great, I, we got him. Mm, almost. There we go, pop the ignite. Sweet. Great, now we can push it in again. I didn't even have to pop my own potions. This Ilawi is completely done for. We solo killed him a couple of times and now he's getting destroyed by my chung. <laughs> Perfect. Great. Now we can get some platings here too. So yeah. Dodged it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> See ya. And you're gone. Q into odd attack into W and like that's a free kill right there. This guy is tilted. Awesome. Now we can get some more platings before we before we go back. I hope I can get at least one more planning before the uh, jungler comes in. Nice. Oh, even even mid lane. Okay. So don't forget, guys. You can find the full runes, full build. You can find it in the description. Just saying once more. But anyway, uh, we're gonna go back to base here. By the page. Um, get some more attack speed. That would be great. I'm gonna wait for finishing my boots though. I can finish my boots later on. We will get the uh, mercs eventually. So it's only a matter of missing, dodging that skill shot from Ilawi, and that's it. Now we can log go fuel in and get like a free kill. Dodge that. 
And here we go. Thank you. <laughs> Legendary already. That's hard for snowballing. Now, in terms of like maxing out your abilities, you mainly want to be maxing out your WSD first all the time. And after maxing out your W, you have the choice to max out your Q or E. Now, it kind of depends on what you're going to be up against. But it's whatever you prefer. They're both really good to max out as a secondary. In my opinion, I like to max out my Q. I like it a lot, but you can also max out your E if you really want to. Because less cooldown is always great. Unlike your ability. Which is like the, the winning condition of Jax. I don't think... Like, I, I wouldn't even be surprised if he goes uh, Rage Quit soon. Great. Eve is currently dead. She's not being here right now. That's really good to know. Uh, I would like to get this tower right now, actually. Oh, you're done. Yep. You're done. He missed the skill shot there. It's all about dodging the Ilawi skill shot. That makes this matchup, like, so easy. And we go back right now. Get the Trinity Force. Okay. Okay. I gotta be honest, I've never really been in the game where I get like 9 kills after laning phase. I've never had this happen before. <laughs> Even after like more than 10,000 games, it, it only happens a few times. People, um, people, they usually rage quit if it gets this far. <laughs> I never really get to this point. Most people will rage quit. But it surprises me. We, we killed him like eight times and he's still there. So top lane is being pushed in completely. And there's no point for me to go top lane at this moment. So instead of going top lane. We might as well go bot lane. And try and catch this guy on her tower. So we are not just winning top lane. But also carrying bot lane. Oh, I might as well have just stood there. Uh, I can catch him. Okay, thank you. And now we can push this in. Great. I can get this one. Oh, the sound of my phone. Uh, if you guys please give me a second. Just a second. Alright, great. This Ilao is still playing the game. Thank you. The jungler is behind now too. This game is a win. Okay, no problem. So, the best thing for Jax in the mid late game is to split push as much as possible. Now, why aren't you saying this? <laughs> you know, like, why aren't you saying this if you're playing with Ignite? Now, here's the thing. The reason I picked Ignite was because we were playing against Ilawi. Ilawi has a lot and a lot of healing. And if you use your Ignite, you apply the Grievous uh, Wounds on uh, Ilawi, which means he can no longer heal for at least 40%, right? Usually, I would recommend you guys actually taking Teleport with Jax, but this game is an exception because Ilawi is just too perfect for Ignite. It's just too perfect. Uh, we got cast here. No problem. Oh, we got some company here. By someone. Uh, I'm not gonna jump into like four man. I 
I'm not that insane. Oh, thank you. Or maybe I am that insane. <laughs> okay, I just jumped into like, to like four man worth. So before going back to base, you see it, the dragon is alive right now, which is the Inverno dragon. And we're definitely going to need this dragon for more damage. So we have to stay. Thank you. We could stay bottom right now and push it out all the way, but we know that people are all around. So it's really good if we go back to base right now. Finish off the Titanic, which is really OP in the current patch. Uh, also get the Mercs because they have a lot of uh, magic, like they have a lot of AP and we definitely want to have like magic resist stuff like that. And then we're going to buy a Stark's Gauge. I'd say if the enemy team has like got like a bunch of AD and like they're all 80, 80 based, like auto attack 80 based. Uh, I suggest you guys actually go for Ninja Tabis, but this game in specific, um, they have a lot of champions that do like AP damage. They also have like a lot of CC and Mercs helps with both of that. So Mercs is better. Hello there, my friend. Hmm. Ah, there you are. Let's see what uh, we get, if we can get some kills right here. 12 kills. Nothing should be a problem right now for us. No caps. Oh, you're gonna catch. Wow. That Fiddlesticks ultimate was actually so good. He almost got a triple. Feels feels bad, man. He didn't get the kills in the end. Thank you. Thank you. I have to run though. Okay, I have to run really fast right now. Great. Back to base real quick. Get like the first part of the Sterex Gauge. Which is going to help us once again. Great. Once again guys, I'm saying this in every video, but it's just it's just the truth about high elo guys. If you're looking to get a high elo, it doesn't matter what kind of elo you are because I see this happen even in diamond guys. It's very serious here. No matter what role you're playing, it doesn't matter what role you're playing. Top lane, mid lane, AD carry. I don't care what lane you're playing. Buy wards. Now why, do, why would I have to buy a ward? Because it's 25 gold. I'll tell you one thing. 75 gold is not that much. If that could save your life, if that could give you the vision you need to split push, if that could do so much more. So, buy wards. Seriously. 75 gold. Don't talk about it. It could mean the difference between winning or losing one. Very serious advice here. Oh, they're like all fighting and they're losing that pretty hard actually, surprisingly. Okay. I will just keep on farming up as much as I can. So they won't actually get the camps right here. Ah, they knew. They knew I was here. Okay. They might show up toward uh, toward this brush. The dragon will spawn in 35 seconds and we will need to get the dragon. Oh, 
I'll just take uh, the camp there already. There's somebody else here. I don't want to get uh, what, uh, like Eve can kill me with a signal combo. I want to avoid this. Or oh, Yui. He's just a lot of damage now too. Okay, I'm gone. This game will be do really difficult because my team is doing really bad right now. Actually, really bad. Force that dragon right away. Best thing we can do. Even if Fiddle 6 is not here. Nice, great. I don't know what my team is up to there, but I need to leave them. If they could get a catch on the E right there, that would be sweet. Maybe they win this without me. I've had to reset, I had to buy items. I was uh, like half-life, couldn't be there. Ilawi did not have an ultimate. We can now brush the Baron right away. Uh, I would like I would like to rush the Baron actually. That would be really good for us. It's going to be kind of difficult since we don't really have that much damage. But let's see. Hopefully Eve is not going to be here in time. Mm, this will be risky. It all depends on the smite right now. Great, he got that. Hmm, actually my general getting a getting a camp. I mean getting the Baron. The last couple of times the Baron. Whoops, I stole the, the blue buff away from Lux. Uh, I th for some reason I thought that this ultimate was actually the ultimate of the enemy team. <laughs> I didn't mean that. I'm very sorry, man. Okay. So now we have the core build of what Jax needs. The Trendy Force together with Titanic Hydra is the core set of split pushing with Jax. Now, the Stark Cage is going to help us with the 1v1s, but it's also going to be great in terms of team fighting. So, this is the build that you need on Jax. The core build. The rest of the items are going to be tanky items for survivability. But these three items is the most important of Jax. Let's go. Uh, that's kind of awkward. I don't want to be the tank in that tower. Okay. These guys are going a little bit too far. Just a little bit. Could have actually used a potion in that fight. No problem. Okay, we currently have a lead of about two levels over Ilawi. Which is great. I'm not going to stay here because I know that there's other people nearby as well. Bring it on. I won't risk it. All we have to do right now is to group up with the team. Force an entire fight as a 5 against 5. And not dive. And that's it. There's nothing more we have to do. Get like a good flash off on their AD carry and like kill them with a, co with a single combo. That's all we have to do right now. We could also split push 
and create pressure that way, which um, which Jax is really good at. They're both really good options because this game is specific. Like we're already so fed, we should technically be able to uh, to fight them. Let me just force this tower here real quick. Hopefully they don't actually get caught there. The dragon is spawning in about 35 seconds and we're definitely going to need that one. Oh wow. Awkward. Okay. It's absolutely fine, we should just take the dragon. Is it worth chasing for? Not really. Good. He will spawn in four seconds. We could take the dragon anytime right now. I don't think Eve is going to show up to stop me. Yep, and she there she goes. That's two inhibitors. After getting these two inhibitors, we can now go dragon and get the dragon too. If the game doesn't end, if the game doesn't end yet. Goodbye. I was, I'm kind of hoping that we can finish off the game with that flash, but I don't really think that's going to happen. Uh, right now. Yeah, that's not going to happen right now. They will be going for the dragon. I'm gonna take this dragon as quick as I can. In the hope they won't actually get it. Because this dragon could be the difference between winning and losing right now. This dragon is overpowered in team fighting. Great. The next item we will buy is going to be a Guardian's Angel. And the final item is really up to you guys. Uh, I would always suggest something, something tanky. So if you're up against like a full AD team, I, I'd suggest like going for like a Thor Mill. Um, if you're up against, I don't know. Um, if you guys are up against uh, like tons of AP, like actually tons of AP, I, I recommend something that gives like magic resist. Um, but as long as it's something tanky and it works out for the game in your favor, it's good. Anyways, this is pretty much how you play Jax in the laning phase, outside of laning phase, the way how you split push, the way how you should be team fighting, showing it all, explain it all. Um, thank you so much for watching today. You can find the full runes, full build once again, you can find that in the description. And uh, with that being said, thank you for being here. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.